Hey, this is Puneet back again and welcome to our VBA series where we learn to write codes in Excel. And before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of these videos in coming weeks. And now let's get started. All right, so here I have an input box that asks me to enter my first name. So if I enter my first name here and click OK, it actually enters my first name in the cell A1. Now in this video, I'll show you a single line of code, how to use input box and how to enter that value in a cell. So this input box is a function and in this function, we have few arguments that you need to define. So if I type input box and then if I enter a bracket parenthesis, so it shows me a few arguments to specify. So the first argument is prompt. Prompt argument is basically the text which shows you uh, within the input box, that main text. And the next is title. This is an optional argument. If you don't want to specify it, you can skip it. It's up to you. So title is basically the title bar, the text that you have on the title bar. Now the third one is default. So default is the value that will show up in the input bar by default. So if you want to give an example to the user, so the most important arguments is the first three prompt, title and default. Now let's create a simple input box to ask for the first name. So the first thing I'm going to specify for prompt. And now I'm going to specify the title for the input box. And in the end, the value that I want to show there as a default value. Now this is the exact same input box that I showed you in the very beginning of this video. Now, to get this value now to get the value from the input box in a specific cell I'm going to declare a cell here uh, let's say b1 now if I run this code Oops, so I need to enter a comma here. All right, so now if I run this code, so it shows me a input box with the title, enter name, and the prompt is enter your first name here. So you can use, I mean, a, you can also use a, you can also use a more descriptive, uh, you can all, And then here we have that default value, which we specified in the argument. Now I'm going to enter my name, my first name here, and now I'm going to click OK. So as soon as I click OK, it enters that value in the cell B1. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this quick VBA tip useful. And if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool VBA tips and tricks in coming weeks.